Do you know the MRI machines used to look inside your body involves a technique called nuclear magnetic resonance. This technique called NMR actually involves a negative temperatures. I'm not talking about the Celsius scale. Is it even possible to go below zero Kelvin? The simple answer to this is no. Negative temperatures in fact are the temperatures which is hotter than infinities. But how? Let's get to these questions in a bit time. Now let's look at first what actually temperature is and how it is formally defined. Temperature is a measure of how hot or cold something is, but scientifically it goes deeper than just how something feels to touch. Temperature is defined by entropy. Inverse of the temperature is defined as the change in entropy of the system when total energy of the system is changed. Now entropy is the measure of disorder in the system. I'm sure you must have heard this before. But what actually is disorder and how to measure the disorder? To answer this, let's first consider the system of seven particles. Each one of these particles have a kinetic energy due to its velocity. Different particles can have different energies. Now, according to the statistical mechanics, particles are distributed among their possible energy states. In this case, let's say E1, E2, E3, E4. E1 state contains two particles which have energy E1. Similarly, E2 state contains three particles at energy E2 and so on. So when we say energy of the system, it means average energy of all the particles. Now temperature is related to energy of the system by equation 3 by 2 times Kb times temperature, where Kb is the Boltzmann constant. Now there can be other configurations of distribution of particles as well. So entropy is related to possible number of configurations for specific particular energy. The larger the possible number of configurations, greater the entropy. So entropy is given by the formula Kb log omega, where omega is the number of possible configurations, or simply known as microstates. For example, suppose the average energy of the system is E, then possible number of configurations for our 7 particle system are 7. When temperature is 0 Kelvin, average energy of the system is 0, where only one energy state is occupied, which is lowest energy state. So in the case of 0 Kelvin, the system is perfectly ordered and the entropy is 0. If we now heat up the gas, we increase both its temperature and its total energy. So you can find some atoms now at higher energies, but you will still find more atoms at state with lower energy than at a state with higher energy. This is the Boltzmann distribution law. If you keep on increasing energy by giving heat to the system, more higher energy states are available, but probability of occupation of higher energy states is exponentially less than lower energy states. That means, you would still find more particles at lower energy states than at higher energy states because of Boltzmann distribution. The higher the energy of the particular state, lesser its probability of occupancy. The hotter the gas becomes, the broader and shallower this peak becomes. Until at infinite temperature, the distribution would be completely flat and all states would be equally probable. Negative temperature now means that this distribution is inverted or flipped around, so that you find more atoms in a higher energy state than in a lower one. This means that the peak in the distribution is not at the lowest energy anymore, but at the highest possible energy and the distribution is flat when negative temperature is minus infinity, which means all states are equally probable. And when all the particles occupy highest energy state, the system is perfectly ordered. Hence, if you think by formal definition of the temperature, in negative temperature systems, the decrease in energy increases entropy of the system, hence negative value for the temperature. On the other hand, if we increase energy of the system, the entropy increases for positive temperatures. In order to be able to reach negative temperatures, the system needs to possess an upper bound for the energy of its particles. That is the maximal possible energy a particle of a system can have. 
We create the system in laboratories with several laser beams and a magnetic field in a vacuum chamber. Once the atoms are prepared at negative absolute temperature, with many atoms close to the maximum energy, they stay there. Thermal distribution does not only take kinetic energy into account, but all forms of energy that particles can possess. For example, potential energy and magnetic energy. Our atoms at negative absolute temperature are stable by themselves. All their energy forms are close to their maximum allowed values. Same like atoms at positive temperature are stable due to all their energy forms close to their minimum values. For those systems that can assume negative temperatures, the temperature scale starts at plus zero, increases until infinity, then jumps to minus infinity and increases further until minus zero. Plus zero is perfectly ordered state for positive temperature and minus zero is perfectly ordered state for negative temperature. Plus zero and minus zero are not connected in this case. In fact, they are as far away as possible. How can a plus infinity and minus infinity be the same things? In statistical mechanics, temperature T is not used that often. Instead, we use beta, which is inverse of the temperature. So when we look in terms of beta, plus infinite temperature and minus infinite temperature are the same, namely zero. In fact, minus beta would have been a better choice for the definition of temperature. Shouldn't the atoms at negative temperature burn away your lab? The crucial point here to consider is the amount of energy that is contained in the system. Our atoms are very hot in the sense that the energy of most atoms is close to the maximum that is allowed by the upper limit for the energy. This maximum energy however is very little as compared to for example a kinetic energy of a water molecule at room temperature. Additionally our system at negative absolute temperature consists only of around 100,000 atoms. That is about 17 orders of magnitude less than the number of water molecules in only a milliliter of water. If you sum up the energies of all our atoms, the energy contained in the system is therefore very little as compared to the energies that we are used to in everyday life. Is there a possible connection to cosmology? You see, atoms and molecules attract each other due to van der Waals forces, ionic bonds or covalent bonds. Normally, if atoms strongly attract each other, they tend to collapse in a denser state. In typical systems like positive temperature, such a collapse would occur due to a natural tendency to minimize potential energy. Particles and objects move and arrange themselves in a way that minimize potential energy, leading to stable and low energy configurations. Our atomic system at negative temperature is stable, maintaining high energy configurations. Even though atoms strongly attract each other, they don't collapse due to being at negative temperature. Our universe is also not collapsing under the attractive force of gravity. On the contrary, its expansion is accelerating. In cosmology, dark energy is introduced exactly to describe this effect. But whether this suggests some connection or it's just a coincidence is uncertain.